Hello and welcome to another C Sharp coding homework exercise for Windows Forms. In this one, we are going to create a mini app that determines whether the date is a magic date. For example, a date June 10, 1960 is considered magic date, quote unquote, uh, because uh, the format 6, 10, 60 means that uh, if you multiply the date with the month, uh, with day, with the month, you'll get the year. T 6 times 10 equals 60. So it's considered a t magic date. So we have to create an application that lets the user enter a month in numeric form, a day, and a two-digit year. The program should then determine whether the month times the day equals the year. If so, we'll display a message saying that the date is magic, otherwise we'll display a message that it is not a magic date. Uh, I already have a form ready, a very small form, for, uh, user enters month and day in the text box. But since we are entering two digit uh, year, I used a masked text box uh, from the toolbar, which is right here. And I used the mask in it over here in the properties with zero zero, which makes, makes it a uh, accept only two digit numbers and it doesn't accept any characters and it doesn't accept uh, three digits or any more than two so uh, or less than two it must be two digits so that way we don't have to validate this particular text box but we'll still have to val validate the other two to make sure that the user entered actual number okay so i'll double click the button and um, we can start coding so the first thing we need to do is capture the input. And since we're dealing with numbers, I'm going to create an integer called month. And I'm going to create an integer called uh, day. And also a year. Now, like I said, the year is a valid input because it only uh, the text box accepts only two digit numbers. But we have to validate the month and day to make sure that the user entered an integer. So we can do an if statement and do integer dot try parse. And we are checking the uh, month first. So if the text within the text box txt month is an integer, then we can output it into our month variable. And um, I have one extra parentheses there. And if that is correct, then we can do in it, uh, within it, we can validate the day as well. So if the integer dot try parse txt uh, day dot text is okay, then we can output the uh, value into our day variable. All right, so if these two values are okay, we already know that the year is okay, we can now perform the calculation. So we can create another variable, let's say integer uh, result, and it equals the month multiplied by the day. And now we can check if the result equals the year. If the month multiplied by day equals year then it's the magic uh, date otherwise it's not so if the uh, result equals year then we have a magic uh, date and we can output a message box message box dot show and we can show uh, this is a magic date Otherwise, it's not a magic date, and we can display message box saying so. So message box that show this is not a magic date. So um, over here, 
we have an unassigned uh, a little error that says use of unassigned variable year because uh, I forgot to actually assign a year to the text box or the value from the text box. So uh, about the result, I'm going to do a uh, year equals the txt dot year dot text. But even though it's two digit, it's still a string, so we have to convert it to an integer. So convert the to integer thirty two, and that way our year will hold the integer value from the text box year. Okay, so this should do it. We can also do uh, since we have if statements here. We can also do an else statement for each of these. So for example, if the day is not correct, we can display a message, error message in a te uh, text box, I mean message box, uh, saying that it's an invalid input. So invalid day, and we'll do invalid input as the text to display on the message box and the same we can do uh, for the uh, for the month so if that one doesn't parse we can do an else statement and message box that show that it's an invalid month and again it's an invalid input inside the uh, text box, I mean inside the message box. All right, so uh, quite a few nested if statements. So let's see if everything's working the way we expect. So the month would be six and the day, actually the month, uh, all right, the month would be 10, I mean six and day is 10. And uh, the year would be 60, so they should give us a magic date. And it says this date is magic. If I make it seven, then it's not a magic date. This is not a magic date. If I make it an invalid character, let's say A, then it says invalid input, I enter invalid month. But if I enter valid month, let's say seven, but invalid day, it says invalid day. So if the month is seven and uh, day is 10, and the year would be 70, then that gives us like another magic date, which is correct. What about 7 times 11? So this is 77, that's a magic date. And if I do 110, which is not now such day, obviously, but it's still a number, so this is not a magic date. So yeah, the application is working fine. Again, we do the try parts for the month and day. We didn't have to do it for the year because uh, I can show you I cannot enter anything other than numbers. I only can enter numbers and only two of them. So uh, we didn't have to verify the year because the text box did not ex uh, did not accept any other input other than two digit value. And then we did the uh, if statements uh, after we uh, did the calculation we verified uh, we compare the values of result and the year and if they matched we display magic date otherwise we display that it's not a magic date fairly simple uh, fairly short so I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next video take care